When it comes to gaming, there are merits to both console and PC platforms. Consoles are locked down, so they are traditionally more convenient and games often run better because developers don't have to optimize games for hundreds of hardware specifications. However, PC is open and gives gamers more freedom to do as they please, even if it is sometimes a little riskier. This freedom allows PC gamers to play their favorites from the past, even if they get delisted from storefronts. And all of the games I've shown so far can no longer be bought from retail or Steam for various reasons. But in this video, I'll show three awesome PC games that can be legally downloaded and installed onto your PC. So let's begin. When the original publisher of Area 51 went bankrupt, the United States Air Force bought the rights and distributed it for free. You can find it on various websites, but the one on ModDB is as good as any, so you may as well get it from here. After finishing the download, you can install it normally like any other PC game. It works on modern systems with some basic fixes, and we'll get to that shortly. Just make sure to avoid the programs folder and install it somewhere else. I would recommend that you select Create Desktop Shortcut. The game is now installed, although it won't run without applying a patch. Without this patch, the game will give an error upon startup. Make sure to select the US version, since the game you downloaded from ModDB is from America. Once the patch is downloaded, just extract it from the archive and put it wherever you like. I have it here on my desktop. Installation isn't hard. However, you will need to direct the patch to where you have the game installed. If you recall, I installed mine inside the Games folder. Once the Unzip button is clicked, the files will be installed into the relevant folder and the patch will be installed. We're almost done. You just need this unofficial patch to make Area 51 fully compatible with modern systems. This might make it playable on Linux as well. In any case, this unofficial patch is installed by simply extracting the files into the game's main folder. If you don't know where this folder is, simply right-click on the icon and select Open File Location. I'm not exactly sure what the legalities are when it comes to Command & Conquer. All I know is the full version of Tiberium Sun can be obtained from CNCNet. If EA had a problem with it, they would surely have taken it down by now, but they didn't. It could be because EA doesn't want to deal with the headache of making it playable on modern systems. You can actually acquire several games in the series from CNCNet, including Red Alert 2. But in the case of Red Alert 2, you will need to own the retail disc, unfortunately. So Tiberium Dawn is the most modern one, which you can just download and install without requiring anything else. When it's done downloading, you can run the setup program. It's really easy to follow. And essentially, it's an automated process where you just need to tick a few boxes. By the way, this does include the Firestorm expansion, so everything will be included here. When you get to this point, make sure to download everything, including the movies, the music, and the missions. It's important that you don't miss anything. The extras are optional, though. The download size is just over a gigabyte, so it won't take long to install onto your computer. As soon as that's done, you can go ahead and run the game for the first time. Make sure to change the resolution to your liking, but don't increase it too much. Otherwise, details become very tiny and it's hard to see what's happening on the map. The Sims 2 is probably in the same position as the classic Command & Conquer series. Electronic Arts isn't interested in making the game playable on modern systems, and in fact, they gave it away for free before delisting it from their store. Unlike the previous two games, The Sims 2 requires a bit more arm grease to get working on Windows 10 or 11. And even then, it may not work for everybody. I suspect it has problems with some AMD cards, but again, I'm not sure. The game is a bit fickle, unfortunately. 
Bear in mind, Windows may try to prevent your browser from downloading the installer, but you know it's safe because it's on GitHub. The website is very trustworthy and has never let me down so far. Anyway, when you run the installer, Windows may try its shenanigans again. Just circumvent the protection and continue to the next step. As usual, I will install into my games folder. The default options are fine, although I'm not a fan of the bonus content, but I'll include it here just to keep things regular. The only thing I'll deactivate is the desktop shortcut. I have my reason, but you'll find out later. This will install The Sims 2 with all of the expansions and stuff packs, so depending on your internet speed, things might take a while. The next step is the Graphics Rules Maker, which you need to configure for Sims 2. It's a small app that basically fixes the game's many graphical issues on modern Windows. Surprisingly, there's not a lot to change, but make sure that The Sims 2 is selected and not something else. Once you're happy, go ahead and save the files. Now we can proceed to configure the game itself. Again, there's nothing to change under the General tab, but under the Graphics tab, I chose the high settings and I enabled water reflections. I didn't experience any negative outcomes, so the game is fine on my PC. The expansions are automatically enabled when you run the game, so I would skip this tab. There's nothing to change here. From here, you can click on Save and Play it should boot straight into the game. You can choose to enable custom content, but like I said earlier, I'm not a fan, so I will leave it disabled. The correct executable is located within the Fun with Pets folder. Look for the Sims 2 settings application. That's the one we ran first time, and to get everything working properly, we must always run the game from this executable. Go ahead and make a shortcut to your desktop. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.